Triple Beat, the newest Pokemon expansion released in Japan March 10th, last Friday. Now, we won't get the set till June, but I'm in the mood to look at new cards. It's been the same old meta for a while. Let's start off with Skeledurge, a fire crocodile. Man, you won't find this in no swamp. What kind of crocodile hates water? That one does. So Skeledurge has 340 HP. You probably cannot KO this, no matter what. And its energy cost is very good, only two fire energies. And the damage, whoa, it is taking out something in one shot. Yep, 3270, easily boostable. But it comes with a big penalty for, you know, that cheap cost on a big cheap, uh, on a very big tanky Pokemon. It does 10 less damage for every damage counter. And so if it's hit, it's probably not going to do enough damage again. The thing is, if you took down two prize cards, it's already paid off itself. You could just sit here, do nothing for a turn while I get another crocodile up, or you can heal it. By far the easiest way is to use this Altaria. It's not rotating, Magical Echo, completely heal it up, and you're good to go again. Just switch and use this two energy attack. Double Turbo Energy will do. The harder method is to use Charizard from Pokemon Go. One Fire Energy becomes two Fire Energies. So that means you can use Cheryl, discard all the Fire Energies, and just put one energy back, and that's gonna be the combo. One well, of those combos will work. Still, if it took down two prize cards, like on its first hit, which the damage looks like it can, uh, it paid itself off. You're good. You don't have to, to heal it. Yeah, it's a big baby when it comes to getting hurt. But those stats are nice. Next, we have Muscarina, which is what happens when your cat eats too much catnip. That's not, that's not, uh -uh. That's... It's never enough. Less. I The ability is when you discard a grass energy, you can do 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and it stacks. So if you had like 4 energies and 4 cats, that's 120 damage. Yeah, you can get some KOs with that. And also, it's a nice attack. Nail Scratch, 100 damage. What if it already has any damage counters? Comes from his ability, you do a 220 damage. Okay, that is very, very high 100 shot potential combined together. And it's energy cost is only two energies, so double turbo energy is still in the format. Yeah, I'll take 200. Still works. Now that's gonna be a very card hungry deck. It's a stage two, it's eating up a lot of energies, so you're gonna need a lot of continuous draw. So Lumbermaster is here, has got your back. Yeah, you also think you need some energy retrievals. Yep, because you're just cutting lots of grass energies. So I think it's a very doable combo. Mm -hmm. Quack of all EA. You know, the end game one is very dope. It's got 320 HP. I think it's sticking around for two turns. And it's dancing with its energies. Look at that propeller shot. 230 damage put two energies from this uh, Pokemon to your hand. So it's got no energies at the end of the turn, but they're both in your hand. So what do you do? Promo Quackaball, Energy Carnival. Once during your turn, put basic energy from your hand down back to Quackaball. So its other evolution can help power up its uh, current one. Now you're free to use Cheryl to heal it all the way back to full or go for more damage. Radiant Blastoise can do 20 damage to any bench Pokemon, so helping you meet that 250 range, add in a choice belt, and you've got 280 damage. That could be a way to bring up its damage. Like in Rocky X. Man, did you come out with a Five Nights at Freddy video game? Now the base Lycan Rock is pretty much a two hitter. It has a good amount of HP. It's an EX, so no choice but work on it. And Scary Fang does 140 damage. It's Five Nights at Freddy, and it does if they, you attack it, you put 10 damage counters on the enemy, which means depending on what damage bonus you're using, this could be very bad. Scary Fang needs 40 extra damage to take that one shot KO. So what do you do? I think Hattery VMAX just might be the easiest damage boost. When your hurt Pokemon are hurt, you get to move two damage counters from your hurt Pokemon to the active. And it helps them meet that breakpoint where it can achieve a one-shot KO through both of its effects. You could opt for a good old-fashioned choice spell as well, or it could use the new rock chest blade, which for fighting Pokemon has this, it takes 30 damage less from attack. And it's an EX, so it's kinda hard to take out. This choice spell don't work on it. You could use cards like Stone Energy to boost its defense even further, but if it's staying alive for two rounds, you're good. Three, too much. Don't invest for that. Just two rounds, you're alive, great. Quagsire! 
yeah, he fell in with a bad crew. Now he's dealing poison and he changed his name to what? <laughs> Anyways, he's now a support Pokemon. Or you can actually fight with them. So, Poison Buck, if there's any stadium in play, not like uh, Garbodor where it's only your stadium, you can poison your opponent. One extra damage. Well, if you have Sneasler, it's now 30 extra damage. Hmm, two bench space for that. That's worth it. And in a choice belt that's 216, you just have to find 20 damage from somewhere. Let me see. Frogs, Hatterene, somewhere. We'll have to find out what that somewhere is when the time comes. Cheese Master, you're now a doctor. He went to medical school and wore two psychic energies. He can now move all damage counters from one of your bench Pokemon, the uh, enemy. Which is awesome, but we kind of have that right now. Altaria is pretty good for memes and casuals. It has the same attack. It's only worth one prize card instead of two prize cards like Cheese Master. So, and it's sticking out around for another year. So don't have to worry about it. Cheese Master is an easier fit into Psychic decks. Say if you have some kind of Psychic Energy bonus, and you want to heal off a lot of damage from your Psychic Pokemon. So it may have a niche. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. It is worth two prize cards, and that is something I see as a downside. Maybe healing off a cow, a Shadow Cow. We'll see. A bell. Mental glasses are handsome, right? Anyways, here's what he does. You find three basic Pokemon with less than 120 HP. Put it into your hand. Great at the early game, not so great at the end game. So there is that. I don't know, he's kind of hard to fit in with normal traditional draw supporters, say Professor's Research. So. You might see play. I don't expect to see Clavel around. You look good though. A Tarzan Town. Where you want to move when you retire? Kind of like Florida. I don't know what you're talking about, man. So, once during your turn, any player can find a basic Pokemon that's not a EX or have a roll box. And that includes Radiant Pokemon. Mm -hmm. And you put it to your bench. Still, uh, for Pokemon that don't use those, it looks pretty good. So it's very specific to a certain deck build, but certainly we'll definitely see play. I would definitely use it for one of my meme decks. So I like it. Luminous Energy, the new rainbow energy of this era. Man, they keep getting worse. So it does what rainbow energy does, but the negative effect is that you could only have one special energy attached at a time. So if you combo with like a double colorless energy it ain't gonna work so very specific decks can use it okay it's it's for meme decks maybe maybe a really good deck could come out but for now we'll keep an eye on it boss's order you know the man in the plan will always got a place in my heart but that guy has glasses so he's good looking now where's my waifu boss order anyways baby gyarados you only care about the second attack here. Revenge Storm, when you're losing, then you can use it for full power for 180, and maybe with a choice belt, 210. Still missing the ability to clear those 220 Lugias and an Arceus, so that kind of stinks. But maybe you want to stick it in with your Gyarados EX decks. Uh, I've. It's a tough one, it's a tough one. I can't say it's because how, like, it's just 10 points away, 10 damage away from missing uh, its damage hit points. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hariyama! I am wasting video time to say that this card for blocking 10 damage from all your opponent's Pokemon is not worth the 2 bench space and 10 damage. Probably isn't gonna matter. Uh, it depends on the deck though, and the meta. Probably won't see this used. Low kicks! I like the wordplay. Anyways, for 1 energy, you can do 130 damage. Uh, once you evolve, so that does combo into something stronger for one energy, but maybe just a good one prize later. Can't see the the hit points in this era. I mean, you saw those new EXs, they're kind of too high to just make a pure low kicks deck. So low kicks has to work with somebody else, but it's a nice one prize trade uh, opener or finisher. Anyways, think it's it. Oh, we have the new Gardevoir that got printed out. Is she rotating? No, she just got printed. Skip. Hydrogen, you know we still got the new Gardevoir? Yeah, skip. Who Gardevoir are you talking about? Shiny Arcana Gardevoir. Fresh off the latest expansion, you look at the top two cards, and then you, if they're energies, go straight onto your Pokemon. Basic energies. And you keep two cards, no penalties, no nothing whatsoever. Yeah, with a nice special effect. Also, she evolves from a very good Curlia, which lets you just draw two cards for discarding one. Much superior line to both of them. 
Miss Magius, when you evolve, you can move one of the energies from one of your opponent's Pokemon, the active only, to one of their bench Pokemon, something useless. Which would suck in this meta because only me would only care. The energy bonus in this meta is so fast that you can just overcome it. Hey, I lost energy. I don't care. That's a waste of two back, back space. Uh, the meta would have to change where if they lose energy, it'd be critical. But until then, no. Nope. Super energy retrieval. It's coming back. And a certain cat that discards lots of energy might actually want this. Maybe, you know what? Maybe regular energy retrieval is just good. But uh, this has been... Uh, staple in past decks. It keeps coming and going, but it's nice to have it back. It'll probably see play somewhere. Jet Energy! It's basically energy and a switch. One to your Pokemon, and then you switch that up into the active. It looks good, but it has to combo with cards that, uh... Jet Energy! Basically, switch energy. One to a Pokemon, it switches up front, which is actually useful. The problem is that the deck also has to be able to want colorless energies. And it has to not mess with your energy and acceleration combo. Say, hey man, I have an effect that discards water energy or grass energy. Then you might not actually want it. So, a very niche card only works in certain things, but it does, it would have its uses. It's like, okay, probably never gonna see it. All right, that's that for Triple Beat. See you in June. Yeah, it's kinda, kinda nice looking at the new stuff. Well, we're going back to the old stuff, but what we have now. Until a few more weeks. Yeah, then we'll get Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so that is that for now. Thank you, Nicholas and the Frenchels. Make it easy, safe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.